A warm welcome to all. I am Imit Sudesh from 8N. And I am Jeetal Syani from 7D. World Environment Day 2022 is the biggest international day for the environment led by the United Nations Environment Programme, also known as the UNEP. It is held annually since 1974. It has grown to be the largest global platform for environmental outreach. It is also celebrated by millions of the people across the world. This year's Environment Day is hosted by Sweden. Only One Earth is the campaign slogan for Environment Day 2022 with the focus being a living sustainably in harmony with nature. Our school has won the Sharjah Sustainability Award, the best outstanding school in the green school domain. Let us look at some of the sustainable aspects followed by our school. Hi, I'm Pooja from 9th B and let's explore the sustainable features of our school. The world is moving towards environmental awareness and sustainable growth in a big manner as it is fundamental to our happy existence. Habit School at Jalf, since its inception, has been contributing its modest share to this mission. By generating initiatives on sustainability, we shall have a wider look into how the school has been designed on sustainable development. First of all, let us check our classrooms. All the classrooms in our school campus are designed in such a way that every room gets direct sunlight from the large glass windows on two sides. Windows of the classrooms open to garden full of trees, flowers and birds. Classrooms can efficiently make use of direct sunlight in addition to energy efficient bulbs fixed in our school. Now look at the corridors of the school. The school has open corridors which allow fresh air and sunlight throughout the day and open to the garden. As our corridors are accessible to light, there is no need for additional lighting in these areas. The design of the outdoor school helps to reduce the electricity requirement rapidly. the school has started crop production and included farming in the school curriculum. By participating in the school farming, students gain access to know about how the farming is done, how to grow vegetables and hands-on learning on farming. The implementation of the farming curriculum done from grade 3 to 8 aims to teach the concepts of farming skills and techniques of crop production which helps to cultivate eco-sensitivity in the minds of children and adds to the motto of the habitat, learn something from everything. To add to the output of farming, you know, habitat is renowned for its picturesque canvas with a variety of trees and plants. The school exists in 10 acres of land out of which about 3 acres are crop areas, which include a high-tech greenhouse. A total of 124 species of trees and plants are currently available on our school campus, including a variety of medicinal, ornamental, fruit and vegetable plants. A total of 1,350 trees and more than 1,000 shrub plants are present on our campus and we preserve biodiversity too. In addition to native and adaptive species, uh, we have a good collection of exotic plants that are rarely found and cultivated in the Gulf region. The abundance of trees on our school campus gives us fresh air filled with oxygen and prevents air pollution caused by smog and dust. Indeed, the front area of our school has beautiful forest groves with a tree hut and relaxing spaces called Acadia. We have placed vessels filled with water and food for the birds throughout the campus. The most important virtue that Habitat School has taught us is their love for nature and their perseverance against global warming, leading a good example for the present and as well as the future generations, instilling in us the desires as students not just to conserve but also providing such platforms such as these so we can spread the importance of sustainable development. Do you know what 
are hydroponics and aquaponics. Hydroponics is the process of growing plants without soil. We do not use soil in hydroponics. The plants are cultivated in such a way that their roots absorb nutrients from a nutrient-rich solution. And when we combine fish cultivation along with hydroponics, we call it as aquaponics. Since the temperature in UAE is not suitable for cultivating different crops throughout the year, a special protective commercial greenhouse is installed in the school quarters for temperature and humidity control. The produce from the school farm is sold off at school counters to parents and visitors, and we donate the proceeds of the sale to charity. For regular watering and maintenance of the plants, they are well established drip and spring irrigation that we use in the school for more saving water much more efficiently and runs automatically. The ACs in our school condensate water, which is then reused for irrigation of our plants. The waste generated in the school is negligible and this is managed by proper waste management facilities. The water taps in the washrooms are time controlled to reduce the use of water and to prevent unnecessary water loss. The students, faculty and the academic staff are given regular sustainability awareness program to ensure the orientation of our school towards sustainability. A special feature of Habitat School is the summer assignment given to the children, which always has the theme to do some work of farming. Students from many countries have been planting saplings, either in their flats in UAE or back in their motherland. Extending this project outside of school, about 39,800 saplings have been planted as part of this project in the last three years. Homeworks and worksheets are usually distributed through the LMS system. Yes, our very own learning management system. That is a method of conserving paper. We have been able to harvest more than a thousand kilograms of produce till last year. And we, our school has also received many awards and recognitions like the Grow Your Food Award and the Legacy Award by the Dubai Municipality and the Ajman Agricultural Award by the Ministry of Agriculture. And finally, we were able to achieve the Guinness World Record for the largest distribution of saplings at a time on 30th April 29th. 9,371 saplings were distributed to the students by our school. Our school has also played its major part in various different services of green initiatives and sustainable development programs throughout the years without the participation in the school. We have also brought down our water and electricity consumption percentage by quite a lot in the previous two years due to various sustainable development methods. Another remarkable achievement of our school is that Habitat School has published a farming handbook for enthusiasts and other schools in UAE, which was released in the last Sharjah International Book Festival. This book is a tribute to the commitment of Habitat Schools to sustainable living and environmental goals of the UAE. The book has details on farming, agriculture, soil, water, tools and organic and natural farming in UAE. Our schools give us the best opportunity to be a part of farming and stay connected to our environment and surroundings. Join us in celebrating Environment Day 2022 by pledging to live a more sustainable and eco-friendly life. Happy, Happy Environment, environment Day, Day to all! all.